Hey guys, so we're back to the 1919 standard catalog, and there's one more, uh, one more feature here that I want to point out. <clears throat> this section of the catalog has automatic pressure tank closets. You'll notice that these were just about every plumbing company offered these in the 20s, and Kohler actually offered. Uh, a setup just like this with this kind of tank as late as the late 60s. So the way this worked is if you can envision your uh, modern pressure flush toilet like a Sloan flush mate or power flush toilet this was an early version of, the, of one of those and it worked the same way. Um, you have a water supply coming from the wall through a small pipe and it goes into a valve and then you have a large flush pipe leading down to the toilet a large flush pipe going up to this tank and this is just a, a, a metal tank, a galvanized metal tank so the way this toilet worked is it was also a seat operated toilet so as the toilet is in this picture with the seat sprung, the water supply is turned off, the tank, the flush tank is empty, and the flush valve is left in the flush position. When you sat on that seat, or if you otherwise held it down, it would turn the flush valve off, and it would turn the supply valve on to fill the tank. It would start to fill the tank as long as this seat was pressed down. And it might take a couple minutes to fill, maybe a minute or two. It probably filled fairly fast. But this pressure tank would fill until it had as much water pressure in it as the, the pressure of the water supply of the building. It would fill until the air in the top was compressed to whatever pressure the building water supply was at and then it would it would stop filling it would reach an equilibrium and it would sit like that until you let off the seat if you if you got up off the seat or you let up on the seat the seat would pop back up and what that would do is this valve would work it would shut the water supply off and it would open the flush valve to the tank and at that point you would have a pressurized tank flush to the toilet and so that tank would basically just flush itself it would dump all the contents under pressure into the toilet the toilet would flush and then the flush valve would simply remain open and the tank empty until the seat was pressed back down and of course the seat could be could be raised fully just like any normal toilet seat but you'd have if you wanted to to flush the toilet you had to press this seat down long enough for the tank to fill fully and then simply let off the seat and when it popped back up it would complete a flush cycle so that was an early form of pressure flush toilet And uh, these were, like I said, virtually any plumbing com company I've heard of in the 20s offered these. And Kohler made them until the 60s, although I've never seen a Kohler installation that late. I would love to. And it's a lot like the some of the frost-proof closets, only this is not meant to be a frost-proof installation. In fact, this is a good time to go back in the catalog. Standard had a couple of models of toilet at this time that were designed exclusively for pressure flush. And that's one of them. Guyjet. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that. So the Guyjet was a rear trap siphon jet version. And I think it was just made so that the characteristics of the siphon jet 
were such that it was... If you hooked this toilet up to a tank, the jet was probably not big enough. So it was designed specifically to be efficient and effective with a pressurized tank flush. And then um, there's another one. Or maybe a couple's. Okay, the Arnhem is a forward trap toilet especially designed for a pressure tank flush. And I think it was just, it, it, the siphon jet was designed so that it was de designed to have a more powerful flush under pressure. Um, you could hook a, a regular tank flush ejecto up to a pressure tank as well, but the flush might, might not be as strong. So I think that's why they made these type of toilets available specifically for pressure flush. There's also another one called the Giant Giantum. And this was an extra it was designed for pressure tank or valve. But this toilet was extra heavy in construction. So it was kind of probably designed for places where it might take some abuse, like maybe a jail or something. And we can find pictures of all these toilets. Okay, these are pure Remos. Those are guy jets. Both in round and extended lip. These are ejectos. These are Arnhem's. It looks much like an ejecto. I think the biggest difference was probably the size of the jet. The, the, the jet was probably different, so it behaved differently under a, a pressurized flush. And here is the Giantum. There's a concealed pressure tank. Your Devoro. Okay. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this catalog. This is a pretty good one. And I'll see you next time.